Did Marco Polo get any of his facts right about Japan? In the book about his travels, Marco Polo devotes several pages to Japan, or Chipangu as he called it. However, as he didn't vis visit the country himself, he had to rely on the reports and words of others. Some of the things he mentioned were that the Japan was, or Chipangu was 1,500 miles east of the continent that it had an endless supply of gold and even had a palace with a roof of gold. It also had a great quantity of pearls. But was any of this correct? We'll start with the distance. At the closest, shortest uh, point, Japan is roughly 120 miles from the continent, not including the islands that are sort of between uh, Japan and Korea. What about the gold? Was there an endless supply of gold? Uh, did it have a palace with a roof of gold? The answer there is no. Japan doesn't have a great amount of gold. Um, in fact, the nation is rich in silver, something which became very important in the centuries to come in the silk for silver trade between Japan and China. And as for the palace, like I said, there isn't one. However, there is a temple of gold. King Kakuji is located in Kyoto. However, this couldn't be what Polo was referring to, given that it was built nearly a century after Polo left China. So this leaves us with the pearls. What about the pearls? This is the one thing that was, well, accurate. Japan produces a great quantity of pearls and is still a major pearl producer today. If you like these Japanese history snippets, please like, share my videos, and follow me so to get more. And if you like books with a Japanese historical setting, uh, please check out my works by clicking on the link in my profile. Thank you very much.